Today we're speaking what's in my Shimoda Action X50 hiking backpack 2024 winter edition. As you may know, winter is a very challenging season and is totally different from summer, so we need to be prepared for it and uh, be ready for any situation that weather conditions can throw at you. After my recent hike in the winter woods, some of you asked me about the gear I used during the hike and if I would make a video about it. So here I am doing it and let's go. When I started my hike, I realized that I didn't know exact weight of my backpack with gear inside it. So today we will be weighting stuff with these weights and these weights. So you and I will know what weight I was carrying out. First gear, of course, is my Shimoda backpack. This is Shimoda Action X50 version, version one. I know that there is already a second one, but I'm still using the first one still happy with it and no problem so far now it's empty without any gear inside so let's find out what is the weight of this backpack right now so weight is around 2.5 of empty bag and let's continue next item that i was carrying was a decathlon 4 class rain cover for backpack sizes 40 to 60 liters but uh, i didn't use it at all and uh, Hearing weight, that weight was 122 grams. Now let's proceed to the sleeping system. Let's start with the sleeping bag. Now I'm using the Penguin Spirit with the temperatures of comfort starting from minus 5. Limit temperature is minus 12 and extreme minus 31. Manufacturers claim that this sleeping bag plus the carrying bag is weight approximately 1770. So almost 1.8 kilogram. Yep, it's showing 1.8 in total. Next one is the C2 Summit Reactor Extreme Liner. Also started using it recently. The weight of the liner is 383 grams. Next will be pillow from the Decathlon. Sorry, Decathlon, I can't pronounce this name, so it will be Quechuya, Quechuya, Queca, Quechuya, I don't know, sorry. This brand and the model Air Basic, as I understand, is like the first version, because right now you can't buy this color. There is a new color, light blue, so I assume the light blue is like second version, this is the first one. And the weight of the sleeping pillow is 95 grams. Next item is a sleeping pad. I started to use c to summit camp mat, self-inflatable. Our value of this sleeping pad is 4.2. It's in regular size, pretty good for me, and the weight is... 797 grams. Next essential stuff is my tent. For those who doesn't know which tent I'm using, here will be a link for that video. You can check it, my review. I'm using Piscina Ultra Lightweight two-person tent. I was able to fit the tent with all its parts inside the backpack. I just pull out the poles and put it in different compartments and that allowed me to put the this compressed bag in the main compartment and the weight is one kilogram 327 grams and additionally 400 grams of poles next uh, will be the clothes i used during the hike i was using so-called layering system with a base layer fleece layer and windstopper layer and uh, we will start with the windstopper this is uh, Again, I can't pronounce the name of this brand. This is from Decathlon, Quechuya, Quechuya, MH500 in a bright orange color, as you can see. And it has uh, two big pockets on the sides, one pocket uh, on the left side inside, small pocket on the right side, and also it has uh, two zippers under the armpits over here for ventilation purposes and the weight is 0.5 grams so 500 grams next layer is a fleece sweater also from Quechuya company this is MH100 with a short zip 
only for the neck. Weight of this sweater is, I'm not sure if you are able to see, yes, 290 grams. Next items will be thermal sweater and thermal trousers from also Decathlon with the brand name Wedze BL500. Weight of the sweater is 236 grams and weight of the trousers is 206, 208 grams. Small miscorrection for two free grams, but it's okay. Next will be my hiking trousers from also Decathlon, from also, guess which company, Kwechuya. And the model is SH500 U-Worm. On inside it has uh, also fleece layer, so it's giving you additional warmth. And on outside it's made from water resisting material. Weight of the pants is uh, 618 grams. Next item will be my hiking boots. Those are Asolo Greenwood GV and uh, weight is... Uh, how, we can, how we can weight it both? Okay, weight of the one is 742 grams. Yeah, they're the same, luckily. So 742 grams multiplied by two and you will get one kilo, 40, 100 something grams. Next one is a synthetic uh, warm jacket. Guess from where? From the Decathlon, this is for class MT500. And the, in a pretty compact state, it can be fitted inside the backpack very quickly and easy. And the weight of the jacket is around four or 500, 400 grams. Next items will be my gloves. Uh, I use two pairs. The fleece one, it was like base layer. Leather one, I'm not sure if it is a real, real leather. Also from, both are from Decathlon. These are for class MT100 and these are for class MT900. The only like maybe problem that these gloves MT900 are claimed that they're kind of waterproof, but as you can see, while I was using those, the snow was like around the glove, next to the glove and so on. And I'm not sure if this is like just a color that was washed out from the, uh, from the glove, or it is some kind of layer, protection layer, I'm not sure. Weight of the MT900 is uh, 136 grams and weight of the fleece ones is 25 grams. I used uh, hiking socks, hiking winter socks, from also Decathlon, Quechuya, SH500 u warmth two pairs, and used one pair during the hike and second pair during the night to put dry socks on my feet. And wet ones were drying up in my sleeping bag during the night, and on the morning I changed them and so on. Weight is 83 grams. Next item will be buffs, non-fleece one and uh, fleece one. Again, with the dog fewer. Oh. This one I was using during the nights. I was covering my mouth and face and even sometimes a full face. This one is uh, four class Trek 500. Weight is uh, 45 grams. And this one, fleece one, I <laughs> this one, fleece one. Uh, I was using during the day, during the hike, and this is one resell 100. Actually, I think this one is not even mentioned for hiking, but for the bicycle, but whatever. And weight is 41 gram. Almost the last item of the clothes is my beanie hat. I even use this one during the hiking, active hiking during the day, and also during the sleep. The brand name is Kalenji, also bought in Decathlon, like years ago, weight is 21 grams. And the last item from the clothes list is my rain poncho, uh, also from Decathlon, for class poncho 100 in L and XL size. The weight is claimed 330 grams. Let's check it. 340 grams. Maybe the packaging itself weighs additional 10 grams, but not a problem. So that was uh, my list of uh, clothes that I was using and carrying on me or in my backpack. And uh, now let's proceed to the 
kitchen itineraries, which I have right here. Need to mention that there is uh, no big difference from my summer version, so we will quickly run through the items, weight them, and we'll continue. First one is the plate slash bowl from uh, Sea to Summit. It is uh, X bowl with capacity of 650 milliliters, and the weight is uh, 83 grams. So next one will be steel mug from Penguin Company. And this is exactly penguin steel mug of capacity 0.5 liters. As you can see, I damaged it pretty hard during the, my last hike. In the nearest future, maybe I will change it to a different one, but so far it's uh, functioning and uh, I'm happy with it. And uh, weight is uh, 159 grams. Next is uh, gas cartridge from Decathlon. I was afraid that during the cold times it will be not enough of uh, this kind of small cartridge because during the cold times the consumption of the gas is higher but uh, it was okay I bought a full one new one and uh, as you can hear there is still something inside maybe for one dinner preparation I will have the enough fuel uh, so its capacity is 178 milliliters and weight claimed 100 grams 118 grams. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Okay, 18 grams, not such a problem. Next one is uh, my stove. This is uh, like penguin hiker. Pretty small and compact, easy to use with uh, flame regulation, but without a ignition button. But for that purposes, I have another item. And uh, together with the case, total weight is uh, 140 one gram and for the sparkles and ignition i use fire starter from the light my fire company and uh, this is a fire steel scout made in sweden by the way not in china this is like excess size and uh, weight with the carrying bag is uh, 33 grams also from light my fire manufacturer i have fork spoon or spoon fork and also there's small like imitation of the knife right here the weight is uh, 11 grams next item is uh, wind cover for the stove looks like this foldable pretty easy to use with some ventilation holes down beneath so we put it like this and uh, the airflow goes under it and wind don't blow your fire during the food preparation this one was purchased on aliexpress so the price i think was about two dollars or two euros and the weight with the carrying bag is 191 grams short mentioning about the food right now i don't have it right here obvious because i ate it during the hike so i was using track and eat and i was using like three of those mac and cheese uh, chicken in curry rice and third one was in mexican style i'm sorry if i pronounce it incorrectly quinoa something like that actually pretty tasty so really recommend it uh, next is a water bottle i discovered small life hack and i will share it when you have full bottle of water and you placing it inside or on the outside pocket of your backpack, turn it upside down. And in this case, if the temperature outside is freezing, water will freeze from the top. And if you will turn it back, you will be able to drink it because the ice will stay right now down below, not on the top. Uh, or otherwise, if you will use it like this, here you will have ice and you will be unable to drink it. So pretty good life hack. Weight of the empty bottle is 90 grams. Next two items are eggs and shovel. Let's start with the eggs. Uh, I bought the most simple one, lightweight and the smallest one in our version of Home Depot. It's called Just Depot. Uh, as you can see, brand Edward. The weight is uh, 554 grams. Yeah, pretty much, but uh, I needed this and will tell you in advance, like small disclaimer, I didn't chop the healthy trees. I cut it only dead ones that are already dry 
or even was uh, laying down, chop maybe some additional dead branches to start the fire. So in national parks you aren't allowed to chop the trees. Shovel? I bought this one from Fiskars. It's made from, I think it's from carbon or something, but it's really lightweight. The weight is only 90 grams. I was using it to dig up the snow for the fireplace and, uh, you know, the other stuff to dig up snow, to put something inside, to cover it with the snow. Next item, this is uh, wood sticks to start the fire. The weight of the one stick is 25 grams. I will put it somewhere here, the total weight of the new uh, pack. Uh, and also used matches. At home I prepared some, I don't know how you call this one, uh, to start the fire quicker and don't waste time to cut it, to cutting uh, sticks on the scene in the cold conditions. Uh, these are also from Light My Fire company called Tinder Sticks. Didn't knew that there is a Tinder for sticks. <laughs> those are made of stumps from cultivated pine fatwood uh, from the highlands of Mexico. Pretty long way from Mexico to Latvia. They are very good during the cold and wet conditions. Even if they're a bit wet, you can start them and this will be a good start for your fire. Next item is my Petzl headlamp. This is uh, exactly Petzl Tikina. The weight is uh, 89 grams. I was using it only during the camping spots. Worthy to mention that always, like always, bring extra batteries because I had an experience on a hiking trip in Poland. During the first night or even first evening, during first like hour, my headlamp died and uh, it was a big surprise for me because I put inside new batteries, charge batteries and it died very quickly and at that time I didn't have spare so always take spare batteries and the like bundle of four AAA batteries weights only 56 grams so in total with the headlamp you have 138 grams. Next item is foldable foam mat. This is from Decathlon for class brand and uh, it is quite small, as you can see. Mm, yeah. mm. I was using it during the breaks to put it on snow and sit on it to give additional layer between my butt or my knees and uh, the frozen ground and snow. Also used it during the evenings next to the fireplace to sit on. Additionally used it during the nights, putting under the, my sleeping pad, starting somewhere from the bottom of my back and down. That gave me additional insulation layer from the cold ground. The weight of this pad is uh, 53 grams. Next items in the list, uh, I call them walking helpers. Starting from the snowshoes, these are also from Decathlon, from well-known brand. Uh, this is L size for food sizes from 42, I think, till 40 six or eight. They are in pair pretty lightweight. The total weight of two is 1.7 kilograms. I need to say that uh, it was much easier with them rather than without them. During first hours when I faced the deep snow I was pretty struggling and when I put them on this was my like first experience ever with the snowshoes and when I put them on I instantly realized how it is easier to walk with them. Next item is a pair of uh, hiking sticks. I used Decathlon Far Class MT500. In pair with uh, snowshoes, you will feel like a Lightning McQueen. In pair, the weight is 0 0.5 kilos. And uh, the last walking helper will be uh, gators. Those are from company Walde and the model is uh, Watsman Gator 3. The only uh, like downside of those at this moment at least that uh, if you are using those long enough your legs uh, in those parts where are covered with the gators 
will become pretty wet because gators not just not letting the water inside but they are, are also not letting the air outside, the condensation outside. So if you want to use them for the long time I recommend to use some brakes and uh, take those off to let your legs breathe for some time and then you can put it back and the weight of the two is uh, 200 grams I don't know why it's not stopping like not fixating yeah you will need to believe me it's really 200 grams now let's proceed to the first aid kit from the Decathlon uh, standard uh, bundle the only addition from my side is uh, emergency blanket for the situations when you get very cold in my condition sorry in my condition uh, winter conditions pretty cold and to like give yourself some warmth from your body you can cover yourself with a blanket and you will be okay until the help arrive weight of the first aid kit is around 319 grams next will be my garmin instinct 2x solar watches i use those not only to record my hiking track but also used it as a live feed for my emergency contacts so they were able to see where I am located. The people who were listed in my emergency uh, contacts list were provided with a link and they were able to track where I am exactly located. And in case if I will not contact them or if I am located at the same spot for many hours during the day and do not uh, establish contact with them as we speak before the hike and they will be able to provide my exact location for search and rescue team if something terrible would happen to me they will be able to track me and set those locations to search and rescue they are solar but during the winter we don't have much sun outside so as you can see the amount of batteries that I left is 31 days at the beginning it was 42 uh, so I charged my watches before the hike to full and it was 42 days so I was able to record the track for each day for about 8-9 hours and uh, it only dropped till like maybe 28 days uh, when I finished the hike so pretty good watches in the future we'll make a uh, video review about it I just want to use them for a long time to be able to provide some good information about them. Next items are feet and hand warmers from this brand. Uh, usually I buy also from Decathlon, but this time those were on the discount, so I bought those. And to be fair, I didn't use those at all during the hike, but it calmed my brain during the hike knowing that I have like something that can warm me up in case if I will need it. And the weight of the feet warmers are 34. Need to multiply it by three because I had three pairs just in case. And uh, hand warmers, the, there is only one piece uh, missing the second one from the previous hikes. 37 multiple by two and also additionally multiple by two because I have like two packages in total. Let's see what kind of electronics and what kind of filming gear I was using. First one is a full frame camera, Lumix S5. Pretty sure that this was the last hike with uh, this camera because it is really heavy. So the weight is uh, one kilo 49 grams. And uh, right now this camera is for sale with uh, two lenses, three batteries, ND filter. Uh, so if you want to buy it or if you're interested, DM me in Instagram. I will put the link below and uh, maybe you will be that lucky person who will receive this camera. Next one is uh, my drone DJI Mini 3 Pro with a special holder, to, much easier to store it, 291 grams. Next is uh, DJI remote controller, the weight is 386 grams. Then I have um, spare batteries for the drone with a charger weight is 260 grams next is a redmi power bank with a capacity of 20 
1000 milliamperes. Uh, weight is uh, 446 grams. Next, uh, my like second emergency camera in case if uh, the weather conditions doesn't allow me to use my Lumix or will not allow me to use my new camera. I will use my GoPro. Right now it's in a silicon case, but I'm using GoPro Hero 10. In this trip I didn't use it at all because I have pretty good conditions for the full frame. Also have like two spare batteries and total weight of the GoPro plus spare batteries is 259 grams. And for the audio I used the Boya MM1. For the silent hiking movies you are required to use some good microphone because you need it to record the sounds of the environment. This one fulfilled his task, so pretty good one. And the weight is 80 grams. Next one is my SD card hard case. It's waterproof, so in case if it's pouring rain or some kind of situation when uh, water got inside your backpack, the SD card, the memories, the work, the work of your life and so on, the work of the trip will be saved and the weight is 98 grams. And uh, that's it, folks. I am run out of a gear to show you. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment, press a like to support this channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I will be making a lot of the videos this year. Not only hiking and uh, gear reviews, but also vlog style videos. And click here if you want to see silent hiking movie where I used exactly all the gear that I'm showed you today. And see you in the next one. Peace.